Hey folks, this is GWH with my full review and first look and overview of the Facebook app for iOS. So I believe during this week, which is as um, of today, which is um, November the 10th, 2012, this week, Facebook has sent an out update out to everyone who has the Facebook app on the iDevice. This includes iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. So basically, I didn't think it was really that big until I started going through it. So I'm going to go through it with you, and I'm going to recommend that you download this and update it right now after you watch the video, of course. So let's get right into it. Okay, once you launch it up, you might not see a difference in the UI. So we're going to go from top to bottom. So top, you have your normal iDevice um, iOS device um, bar, which includes your iPod, whatever it says up there, your Wi-Fi signal, your time, and your battery. So then you know nothing up there changed. It's still a black bar. Um, going from left to right, you have this. Clicking this will show up as your Facebook profile, your news feed, friends, messages, events, chat, photos, your pages that you have, your apps that you have approved, your groups, your friends, your requests, your help center, account settings, privacy and terms, and log out. So basically that's not the change and you can switch between this using this little cool method. Um, you still have your notifications right there, your messages and your friend requests. That didn't change. But you right here, you see a little person with three lines. So if you swipe from the right or you can click this, it will pop up like this. You may have seen this in a messenger app, app or Facebook. But now it's also in the Facebook app, so it gives you a quick access to your favorite people, which are the people who you talk to the most. And you can always edit this to add the people or um, delete them, or you know, just go through all of them. Um, let's click done, and you just continue to scroll down. You will see your active now people with a, a notification at the very top of it, as well as you know everyone who's online. And this also includes a little cool way to go to that part as well. Um, let's continue on. You still have your uh, input status, your load, upload your photos and videos, and your check in. The new stories bar always pop up with a notification, so it did reach the very top. So, nothing right there much change. Uh, you type comment, it will look like this now. So, same old thing. Um, let me see if I could go anywhere else. Now, the cool thing with messages is when you click a message, it pops up as this. Uh, hopefully we got for that No, 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 I don't care. It kind of look like your I, um, iMessage app and your iDevice So as you can see you can go back and forth your messages will pop off on the right side of the screen While your um, partner's messages will pop up on the left side of the screen So uh, you can either click back or you can click this little exclamation mark which shows you the person name the notification on whether you want to see or not. You also view the timeline and you also see their phone number which should be covered up by right now. Much the full review, overview, and first look at the Facebook app for your iDevice which includes your iPod Touch, your iPhone, and your iPad. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up below. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe. Also share this video with your friends on Facebook friends on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube by clicking the share button below. Also, comment below, and that's everything I have to say right now. This is GWH, signing off.